Hello dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All The Mods 8, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a little bit, I'm terribly sorry about that, wedding planning is going a little hectic and crazy. But anyways guys, we are back and we are quite a few versions later in the mod pack. There have been several updates since the last time I saw you, it's been over a week again, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but yes, we have Create, we have a couple other really cool and fantastic mods in here. Uh, I'll probably go over those in a little bit with you guys, but yes, I have a bunch of cows in a wheat field and I found some cows kind of chilling over there and because these guys keep spawning in every like 20 minutes it feels like um, yeah we have a lot of those I've been using them as their leads and I got some cows over here so yeah we can eventually um, you know start uh, getting fortune hopefully on a pickaxe and you know getting the tools because I believe I have enough diamonds to get us into the nether but yes this is the base uh, i've done a little bit of updating in here as you can see uh, we have a stone cutter yeah that's beautiful uh, that's pretty much it we i'm just kidding uh we have a sink i don't know if i showed you guys that on camera or not it has been a while if i have i'm sorry uh but yeah this is our storage arrangement here we have our drawers over here furnaces lining up here eventually we'll upgrade these all to like higher tier furnaces uh and my idea is to actually move the storage room out of here like we'll have this be an entry room and then we'll kind of go up into the hill and make our base throughout the hill uh kind of like how we did on Valhelsia uh, 3, if you guys remember, and if you've been around since then. But yeah, just some uh, iron sp or spruce iron barrels over here, the oak drawers, and then the oak iron chests here. But yeah, this is all the stuff we've got. Um, and because we have Create, I have been mining a bunch of andesite. Yes, because we can turn this stuff, uh, if we take the nuggets and we go like this, and we go like this, yes, we can make the andesite alloy which gives us the sturdier rocks. Um, yeah, so I'd like to go ahead and make a couple of these items here real quick that we'll need. Uh, the hand crank is a pretty early game method of generating rotational force, which is how create operates. Uh, different things will uh, create kinetic energy. Uh, if we hold W, we can ponder it. And as you can see, we can set up a contraption like this. Uh, and then the hand crank on here will crank to use, but you just right click it and it goes around and around and around. And that's how we re we create our rotational force. It's very cool, very uh, useful early on to kind of get some things started. Oh, I didn't realize if you sneak right click, you can go the opposite way. That's pretty cool. Look, I'm even learning with you guys. But anyway, yes, we have that. Uh, so we need to actually go ahead and make some of these shafts. And then if we combine it with just one piece, I believe the recipe has changed on this. We get that because if we do Two, yeah, we get the large cog wheels. So we get one cog wheel and a large cog wheel. Uh, these are really good. We'll ponder these as well. Um, you know, you can combine these up. They uh, they change the gear ratios. So like one rotation of the large cog wheel is like I think two of the small cog wheel. So we can really ramp up how fast we want something to work. Let's go ahead and set it up here real quick for you. All right, I cleared out a little bit of space here. Uh, so if we just set up one of these guys and we put the hand crank on it, as you can see, it spins to the same, uh, a little bit slower actually than uh, this guy. But if we take this off, it's not a direct translation, but we do maybe, oop, not that. We do one of these where we add in a smaller boy like that. Oh, look at that shifting gears. And we put that on here. As you can see, now it's spinning quite a bit faster. And then the cool thing is, is if we decide to put this here and do that, we can even go faster. So as you can see, that small one on our far right over here, spinning significantly faster than this one here. But again, that requires more power to in order to turn those for each time that we got to do that utilizes more power or rotational power. So yeah, there's that to keep in mind. Okay, so there's a couple of things I want to go ahead and create today. I did not, I'm sorry, I did not mean to make the pun. There's a few things I want to go ahead and craft today. Uh, we're going to make, I, gosh, what is going on? <laughs> we do a large uh, cog wheel, we get a water wheel. I want to make a couple of these guys. Uh, and so we're going to be utilizing some water power to go ahead and create some rotational power. If we go ahead and ponder these, this guy here, um, as you can see, it water pours over and yeah, so it just rotates it. That gives us our rotational force. Um, so it just means we have more power and then we can use gear ratios to speed it up. Um, 
yeah, pretty simple there. Um, so what that means is I think we need to kind of revamp this area. Because uh, I do want to put uh, like a really cool looking water feature here, but I want it to go into kind of a pond. So what that means for us, I'm probably going to have to shut this guy off or just kind of contain it for a second here. And then we'll do some terraforming and maybe make it look cool. So I think that would be pretty good. Those guys just disappeared on me. That was crazy. But this is what we're left with here. So I'm going to go ahead and look with, like at a couple of things. I think we're going to go ahead and kind of line this up here. And then I'm going to kind of chisel all of this back. And we'll see. What are you? I think these, this guy poisoned me one time. Weird. It's running away. Anyway, I'll go ahead and do that now. That's disappeared. Wait, let's kill it. Got it. <laughs> All right, so this is what we got here. I've set it up so that we can just use Ultimine here and probably get through it. I hope I, I made another pickaxe for this. I hope it's enough. <laughs> I was not planning on it being this big. Oh, I didn't plan on it. Oh. Okay, so this should be more than sufficient here. I greatly underestimated how much actual stone was left. But cool. Yeah, this was a quick way I just basically chiseled out the rest of it. Uh, but the reason why I did it like this is because now we have a complete blank slate to terraform however we see fit. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, we are probably going to do like a lot of terraforming here. But I just want to get a good spot for everything. But yeah, this is where our water... Oh, what the... Z? Yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, I think this is going to be awesome. We're going to cover the uh, the bottom with sand and gravel and some stuff like that. So I do need to go with that. Probably going to bump this down one more layer. Uh, I won't. I just probably where the stone is. Probably won't do anything more than that. But yeah, we're going to put our uh, cogwheels kind of in the back. Um, yeah, so I will do that now, and we will line them up. It'll be lit. What I meant to say was the water wheels. Uh, I know I said cogwheel. Sorry about that. Um, but yes, I believe. You know, there's a really good chance that we will just um, like cover these so you don't see them, and then we just have like a cool waterfall over here. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's probably the best idea here. Okay. There we go. So the water wheels will have water flowing over them like so. So we need to go ahead and, and get the water, which is lit. Uh, I mean, it's not lit. It's water. So let's see. I've got one bucket here, and we have a sink. That is okay. Oh, wait. We need some building blocks. I put all the cobble back in. We're making progress. Don't you worry about it. Ouch. Okay. So we should, that's where the water, I believe, needs to be. Does this work? We're about to find out. Yes, yes it do. I do, oh, we have, we have a wandering trader. What do you need? Do you have any cool things? A globe, hmm. Maybe you'd be worth a lot of leads to me. I have no idea what I'm saying. Don't, don't, don't listen. Okay, and so what I want to do... Okay, now we can break these guys. Wait, no, we want this one. Okay, I can break these guys. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, those should be good to go. I think I can break this one here. No problem. Yeah, we are generating that. Um, the only thing is I want to know where this is going to poke out in our base. So if I break this block, yeah, we should be able to do this. And the cool thing is I can go like this, lock us in, and then we can just mine straight and figure out where it pops out. <gasps> oh. Oh, that's good. Perfect. Get out. Really? It's that? Oh my. Okay. This is going to work out good. So I do plan on putting a room over there um, for our 
things. Actually, the room over here wouldn't be that big. This is probably going to go up on the second floor. Um, but what more than likely this what this is more than likely meaning is I need to expand now. So I need to kind of move all these move all these chests and move them forward. Uh, and that's okay. Well, we can go ahead and do that in a second. Oh, I have one more water wheel. I feel silly. Okay, so that that's good to go. We have all of those going. Um, I think we'll lose all of our power in there if we take it. But the good thing is we really didn't have to worry about generating all the power. And then we can also just put it here. Yes. I think we'll encase this one in a glass. I think that's what we'll do, and we'll generate power that way. So the kinetic dynamo. We will put it here. There we go, perfect. Okay, ouch. Cool, yeah, so we'll encase that in glass. We're not gonna set that up quickly yet. I need to go clear out that other room, but I want to see if there's a hammer to go ahead and do that real quick. Um, yes, we can make a hammer template. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so how do we make these guys? Flint. We have flint. We have enough flint, which is good flint. Good. Beautiful. Okay. Was that not the recipe? Oh, the log, okay. We just needed one of these, holy heck. All right, so we just need one stick and boom, boom, boom. Yes, very good. Oh, bikibis, we're gonna make an iron one. Um, so I believe we go like this. Um, hmm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay, so we need the stick. We need the stick. Where did the flint? There's the flint. Beautiful. Okay, stick recipe. Okay. So can we do this? Make an iron? Yes, we can. All right. Iron hammer. Can you hammer things with it? Yes, you can. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so it's magnetic. I was like, did something just fly at me? Cool, okay, I'm gonna clear out that big room up there. Uh, we're gonna make some stairs where the chest is and we'll get started on the floor too. Okay, so we have the create room here. I might bump this up another block. And the cool thing is it kind of sticks out over here. So I was just thinking maybe we don't do waterfall. Maybe we find something else to do over here. Because I just, I like being able to look out into the world. Like kind of like an anthill, you know? Like that would be cool. Like just maybe some platforms. Maybe we go outside over here and there's a little place for stuff. But yeah, we're just going to run this over and up here. We can do that with um, the, some of the create things. But here's the staircase behind. I haven't moved the chest yet. Um, I'm thinking that the chest room will be down the hall a bit more here. Um, not too much further, but yeah. And then we'll have another room on this side. But yep, keeping with the two wide uh, for this hallway. And then everything else is going to kind of be even Stevens. Um, 
yeah, so now we are on to that other thing. I actually wanted to go ahead and create one of these guys. Blood or blue moon rises. I feel lucky. So we need to make an andesite casing, but you can do that by simply placing this here and clicking it, maybe? Or shift clicking, throwing it at it. Does it have to be in the offhand? Nope. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm getting confoodled. Um, manual item application. Let's hold W to ponder. Okay, maybe... Use to decorate shafts. Wait, am I using the right item? Andesite alloy, okay. Am I using the wrong wood? Oh, has to be stripped. Oh, okay. I feel silly. Cool. So we've got these guys now. Um, and that's a gear shift, mechanism, me mechanical piston. What we want, that's in case drivetrain. We, yes, a gearbox. This is what we want. Okay, this will point the things upward. So let's get in here and probably just go up through here. That's pretty cool looking. All right, so six, seven, six, seven, six. All right, so seven, six, 75. That's what it has to end in. And we're gonna need that back. Um, we do not need you for now. Probably will in a bit. Perfect. All right, so 76, 75 is where we need to go down. Okay, so it should be, oh, ouch. Yes, we have found it. Okay, and then gear shift, we should be able to switch this up. Yep, so now it's facing upward. And then we take the shafts. Beautiful, okay, so that is where it's going to come in for now, just for now, for now. Don't worry, just for now. Okay, and we're gonna probably need to make one more of them. Um, let's get some of this dirt out of our inventory. Maybe some of this. We are full, that is okay. All right, andesite casings, we're gonna need one of those. Whoa, we have all of those, cool. So, should be able to make a compass. Actually, we should make two. Should make two, and I'll show you all in a second. Because we need to make two of these, and then you can convert one of them in. So now we can see how much uh, stress we have and how much uh, speed we have, which is good. Cool, so we need to make one more gearbox. Um, yes. That is okay. Cool. All right, so we got the gearbox. Sweet. And then what the gearbox means is that we have the stuff here. Yes. Yes, we do. So, stressometer. Good. Means there's no s s stress. Speed is pretty good. There's not a whole lot of speed. <laughs> I mean, this doesn't really show a whole lot. We can end up putting these into the walls later on, but we just needed those so we can just see how it's looking. But yeah, like, this is cool. I like being able to just look out. At night time. Those are fireflies. Don't worry. They don't set anything on fire yet. I don't think so. This isn't like Atlantis the movie. 
Okay, so we have those. We have the things going up there. Let's get a millstone going because this is the whole... Well, we need to hit A on that. It's the whole reason why we built this so that we can start grinding some stuff up in here. Beautiful. We have the millstone. So like we can throw like weed in here, get flour. We can get into like better food items. Uh, yeah, so that's why we're really liking it. Um... Okay, so we need the gear. Um, cog wheel. Here, I'm gonna take these up now. And I think, okay, I think the best way for this one will probably be to move this up one more block. So we can get Need the big guy on here, and the big cog wheel goes like this. It's not a thing anymore. Aha! It is a thing anymore. Beautiful. There we go. Oh, geez. There we go. So the millstone is now twerking. Uh, can you put this in there? No. We cannot. Let's go get something we can put in there. All right, we've got five five wheat here, and we should be able to toss these right into the millstone and have them get crushed. Yep, and we don't even have to turn it. And then once we see the particles, yes, we have wheat flour. Very cool. And what we can make with this is fried calamari, you know, scone. Ooh, wow, look at that, scones. But I want to get into, you know, some good food items. Uh, but let's see here. Milling. Uses. Yeah, so we can turn skystone into skystone dust. We can break down sandstone back into sand. Break down flowers. Uh, we can get uh, black dye from charcoal now and even gray dye. Uh, so, like, this is really good for dyes, good for string, sugar cane. Um, let's see, what else? There's one thing. Isn't it a cactus? If you utilize a cactus... Wait, what did... Oh, wow, calcite goes into bone meal. That's pretty neat. I did not know that. Dripstone blocks go into clay, so we can make clay. Um, I mean, it's really not, like, the major thing, but we just need to get some create stuff going so that we could utilize it. Um, fence construction block. So really what the, the wheat flour was for is if we can find the recipe, if it's still in here. Yeah, we make dough, and then we combine the dough with lime dye, and we get slime balls. So it's a, a pretty not super effective way to make slime. Glow goop. Glow goop. What is glow goop? Lingering potions. Cool. So, yeah, we have this going here. Creates some work and well. Let's see about getting into the nether and possibly stealing a blaze spawner. Yes, you heard right. Okay, so first steps. Uh, we got to get a pickaxe. We now have a diamond pickaxe. We have two more... Diamonds for the enchanting table. We'll worry about that later. Uh, we have our water block. We have a couple torches. I need to get rid of all uh, this goop. Um, yep. You too. Perfect. So now it is raining. Great. But we will press on and go uh, mining. Okay, so we're down here at Y level four. Uh, negative 50. Um, well, what is... Is that one of those dense things again? Yeah, look at that. Ouch. He broke... He broke my helmet. Yeah, we like those. Okay. <gasps> oh, diamonds! I didn't even realize those were there. Okay, so... We're actually... I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go get him. Get out of here! 
Oh, I didn't even need any blocks. One. One diamond. It's lit. It's real lit. Okay. So what we're going to do now is place the Zevlate bucket. Perfect. Perfect. And then we're going to go here and we're going to vein mine it. So we'll get it all. It's going to be great. I do love Ultimine. Boom. There it is. We got it. Good shnikes. Grab that. And we are back. We have 42 total obsidian. And I haven't even been to the nether yet, obviously, because we're building our nether portal. Um, but I think I'll put it somewhere over here. This is obviously subject to change whenever I feel like changing it. But... Oh. There we go. Alright, so then the portal's lit. Now we're not going to do it right away. We have to get a way to grab the... Um, the whatchamacallits. The, the the spawner, so we need a cardboard box. This guy right here. This is gonna be what we need. So we need sawdust for mechanism, which means we have to make a precision sawmill, which means we have to make a couple of these basic control circuits. Uh, in order to make those, we need a metallurgic infuser, and we should have everything we need for that. Uh, do I have any osmium smelted? Do I have any osmium at all? I do have some osmium, just none of it is smelted. Well, that's a bummer. Okay. So, two redstone for you, and then we're going to probably need some more redstone for it. I think a total of 16 redstone should suffice. We just need the one. And then we need 16 for two for nine. Perf. And boom, metallurgic infuser. And I believe we can just put this right here. Hmm, nope. Gonna need to pump it in. That's okay, we have the stuff to do so. Got two of these, one of you. Perf. Set to blue. I don't know. I don't know if that will work. Okay, maybe we need the hammer. Engineer's hammer. Aha, perfect. Okay. So that goes in there. We're gonna grab some osmium. We just need two. We need a couple of iron. And we are set. I think we need two of these. Yep, and then we also need some steel. So we're gonna have to put some charcoal or, or coal in. Actually, I think it's charcoal. Might be coal. We're gonna put some coal in there. And then we're gonna do the same thing with some iron and we'll get some steel. Very cool. Mechanism is super OP at this level. Cool, so we have the infused alloy, which is completed. Now we're gonna process up the circuit boards. Control circuit. Cool. All right, now we have these two guys. So we're gonna unfortunately dump all of that in. We're gonna put those. And we're going to put that. So a simple circuit. We got it. Advancement made. Oh, do we have any quests for that? Mystical agriculture. That will actually be good. All the modium. Let's go. Um, is there anything for mechanism? There is. But we're not getting any of them. Huh. All right. Osmium. I like it. Heat generator. Okay. We do have to go through with that. To make some power, and then we unlock 
quite a little bit. And then the last guy. We're going to put him through one more time. And then now this will make steel. How are we doing on power? We could use some. Because then we're going to swap this out for um, a sawmill. And we're going to get the cardboard. And it sticks as like a 100% chance. Yeah, one stick. Yeah, stick equals one sawdust. So that's what we're going to be utilizing. Cool, cool. All right, so all we got to do now is smell these bad boys up. Cool, and then we'll have some steel. And then we'll be able to create this guy. So we're going to need four sand. Smelt it up. Um, actually, i just go collect it. Cool, cool. Now that we have the glass that we need, we can go ahead and make the precision sawmill. Perfect. Now, let's see. We just need the iron. Perfect. And shebang. Perfect. Sweet. Precision sawmill. Okay. So put that here. Awesome. So now we just put some sticks in there. We'll do eight just to be safe. There we go. Beautiful. Let that run. We'll sleep. Cool, cool. All right. So we have the eight pieces of sawdust now. It means we can go like this. We have two cardboard boxes. Very cool. I'm going to leave this, 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 this. Uh, we'll put our single diamond over there. We will put that there with uh, those as well. Uh, osmium goes in here. Okay. Keep some torches. Put some gravel. They don't need the hammers. Water bucket's going to be useless. Cardboard box. Okay, I'm going to bring couple uh stacks of cobble and we are going to make our way into the nether everybody okay so far we're alive that is good okay we're gonna mark we're gonna mark Yes. And we're going to mark it in purple because you have to do that. Oh, don't do that. Okay. This is our quest. Oh, geez. We're getting lag spikes. Oh, that's not good. We're running. There's so many. What was that? I don't know. I grabbed it. The guy's still chasing me. He thinks he's uh, Lightning McQueen. Yo, no freaking way. Ancient debris. Let's go. Oh my gosh. That's our first ancient debris. I kid you not. I just started tunneling over here because I, oh, I thought that was more. I wanted to uh, get to the other side. Wow. Ancient debris. So good. I got ancient debris before I even got quartz. That's pretty lit. Oh, jeez. That's what I thought. Hmm. Oh, frick. 
Oh, he's gone. Okay, we finally have found one. Oh my gosh. I have been out here for probably an hour exploring around. We're running pretty low on resources and stuff, so I'm glad that we found one, but let's get in there and have a party. If you guys are wondering what mod is allowing me to uh, click the blocks like this, it is Quark. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I really hope it's not a mosquito. That would be bad. Cool. Oh my gosh. We are here. Ah! Bloop! I found another one. How are they spawning them so fast? Sweet, we got one of them. Got one of these guys. Now I just need to grab the other one. I think I'm just gonna go in there real quick. Yeah, cause he still sees me. Got the second one. Let's get out of here. That's all we came for. <laughs> Oh, baby, we got some blaze spawners. Yeah, this is going to be amazing. I think we're going to build kind of a bigger tower kind of along the water, uh, and that will hold all of our blazes. It'll be kind of like a lighthouse, maybe. Yeah, uh, I'm very excited about that. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. This is Super Turtle, and I'll see you all next episode where we're going to create a spawner where we get lots of experience. We'll be doing some enchanting and stuff like that. So I'll see you later. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye. Love your face. <laughs>